All right. So we are going to secure our Salesforce login with two-factor authentication. Secure your user's identity. So this is a pretty straightforward steps. You can read this through. But we are going directly to the challenge. So we are not going to do everything twice and get some 500 points. So I'm going to launch um, my Trailhead Playground, the, the Trailhead Playground I'm using, this one. And we are going to do this challenge. So create a more secure environment by requiring users to use second factor or two factor authentication when logging into your org. This challenge requires you to create permission set and assign it to an active user in your org. Okay, okay. So let's head to our Trailhead Playground. So this is our Trailhead Playground. So the first thing is I want to create a permission set on my setup here for the two-factor authentication. So I'm going to search permission set. Permission sets over here. And then I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to name that two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication user or permission or just that. Okay, license is none. I'm going to save that. So on the permission set here, I'm going to go to my system permissions. And then basically we are going to add two-factor authentication here. We might need to eyeball it. Two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication uh, for user interface logins. So just this particular one, two-factor authentication for user interface logins. And now you can save that permission set. So basically, we just give access to that one feature. I'm just going to um, save this. Now we are going to assign this two-factor authentication to the users which you like to have the two-factor authentication. So for this example, I am going to assign this to myself. So add assignments. So if you want to assign um, a bunch of user, you can just check the box of the users you want to give to factor authentication and that's it. So now we've created the permission set. We have assigned the permission set to the users that needs to have two factor authentication. Now let's log out. I'm going to log out from here. So let's open up the two factor authentication. Um, to uh, the, the Salesforce Authenticator, okay? I'm going to open that. I'm going to add an account here. So, Harsh Dream. So, I'm going to hit login first here. Login. Woo! -hoo! So, I'm going to choose um, Harsh Dream. That's not a good word. Harsh I like sweet dreams, right? So basically just copy this text, harsh dream, connect, boom. So you hit you hit connect here. Got it. Allow location, sure. All right. Got it. So now we're logged in. Isn't that cool? So if I want to log out here, maybe I scroll this to the right a bit. Now if I log out from here and I want to log in again, so let me log out. Right, this is my phone. So the next time I am about to log in, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna approve it from here. See, I'm gonna log in here from my computer. There we go. 
So, sorry, my phone just turned off. So you just basically hit the approve button, boom, and now I am in. So somebody stole your password, for example. I'm gonna remind me later. They knew your password. Maybe um, some um, company that you use the same uh, email got hacked or something. Say somebody has your password, but they still can't log in without this phone, right? Because if somebody knew your password and they tried to log in, say somebody stole your password or they knew your password and they're trying to log in from, from anywhere, and you just have your phone popping up on your phone, you will see this, right? And you see, what? And it says from where it tries to log in and what device, the service and the username and you say, no, that's not me, you can deny it. So that's the, the beauty of it, okay? So I'm gonna approve this one again and we are now logged in again. So basically that's it, but I think for the challenge, I sh let me just click here, you might never show me this message again. I think for the challenge, let me move this over to the left here. I need to name my permission set something that needs to be named here. Uh, assign the trailhead permission set. See, I need to name my permission set to trailhead. Let's rename that. So if I go permission set, it needs to say trailhead, otherwise the trailhead will not be able to verify. Can I rename it? I don't think so. I'm just going to clone it maybe. Or properties here. There. I just renamed it to trailhead so I can rename it. I'm going to save that. This is just for us to be able to collect the points because the challenge will check if the, we have a, an active permission set which has the 2FA authentication. So that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward. Now I'm gonna get my point and I will see you on the next video where we talk about login process. That's an interesting security feature as well. All right, let's wait for the points. Checking, 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 boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.